Today we're talking about shoulder impingement, uh, which is typically like pain at the front of the, the shoulder for a lot of people. And a way you can usually test it really easy is one, lifting the arms up, do you get pain at the top of the shoulder? Or a, uh, a more specific way that you can test it is hand on the opposite shoulder. Keep your palm down and raise your elbow. And if you get pain, through that part right there, through that AC joint, is typically where you might get impingement, right? Uh, biomechanically, what is happening with impingement? Okay, so really simple concept. It's like all the tissues at the top are pulling nice and tight, and when you go to lift your arm, uh, all, like your collarbone runs out here, and it creates a roof, okay, a roof, for the shoulder or the humerus then butts into as you go to lift your arm up, right? Now, if you have really tight musculature up the top here and relatively weak musculature down the back here, then the scapula isn't, when you go to lift your arm up, the scapula isn't going to articulate back and down. It's not gonna, that roof is not gonna get out of the way. So that's usually the issue biomechanically that's happening. What you want to think about is strengthening up all of this stuff at the, the back and releasing all the tissue at the top is a relatively simple fix, okay? Uh, I'm gonna show you one little exercise that I found when I was doing my shoulder rehab um, after I dislocated my shoulder that really like neurologically helped me to build a better pattern and find a better space in my shoulder. Uh, so when I was going overhead and even when I was lifting my arm up uh, overhead, so it's, you know, um, it's creating a different relationship with the, the tissues that are at the top, um, being more supported by the tissues that are at the bottom, okay? So I'm gonna show you what that is. Shoulder circles is the first exercise, shoulder circles. I'm sure you've been told these before. I'm gonna give you a different perspective on how to, uh, how to apply it, right? So, if you're laying down on, on your back, <coughs> you're gonna have your, your arm straight up above your head. I want you to test out, can't really see. <coughs> I want you to test out where you get to with your overhead capacity, right? So, uh, for this, you want to keep your lower back on the ground so you don't want to actually be flaring the rib cage. So you don't want to be arching your back to try and get overhead. You want to have your abs on so you can keep your, your knees off the ground if you want to, or so feet off the ground if you want to. And just testing your ability to get your thumbs, thumbs to the ground, right? I'm not sure whether I should turn my phone or not. Hopefully this will be okay for you guys. Okay, I'll anger myself this way. So, testing of going overhead. If you get to a spot where this kind of thing will happen, right, with your non-strong arm, <laughs> okay, that's the, obviously the shoulder we wanna work on. So what you're gonna do, make a fist, and then I want you to start, you can either start fully internally rotated, so my palm is facing that way, or you can start full external rotation, which is my palm facing up, right? So you, you're gonna be doing circles, small controlled circles, five one way, and then five back the other way. Super simple, yeah? Watching with your eyes, watching your hand with your eyes the whole time. Then, once you're on five and five, turn your palm 90 degrees, so now it's facing that way. Five circles, five circles, palm now facing down. Five circles, five circles, internal rotation, five circles, five circles each way, right? Constantly watching your hand, making sure that you are doing smooth circles, smooth circles, not jittery circles, right? Then, retest. Is anything different? If you just hold your arm out in front, it's probably gonna be different, okay? But one step further is if you go to, if you test out your range and like you can only get like there, right? Then come back just halfway, 
Keep your shoulder away from your ear. Oh yay, phone's gonna die, so I'll keep this quick. Keep your shoulder away from your ear. So pack your shoulder, I'll do it on this, shot, this side. Pull your shoulder down away from your ear as you're doing your circles, right? So don't let your shoulder shrug up to your ears, okay? Pull your shoulder down and then do your circles, okay? So that's number one. Second exercise. Oh, after you've done that again at an at a increased angle. So if you've done it there, then retest. What's different again, okay? And what you're trying to build up there is just recenter the humeral head inside the scapula, so inside the glenoid cavity, right? So if you, the head of your humerus is not articulating smoothly inside that glenoid cavity, then you end up with pinchy joints, right? It's pretty simple. Do that one. Then I'm gonna show you how to load it, right? Um, I don't necessarily like showing you guys how to load it because when you load joints that are painful sometimes, uh, it's not a good experience for people. So be careful with this one and start light and work where within your capacity. I'm trusting you guys with this, all right? So I've got a five kilo plate, all right? Laying down on my back, similar position. I'm gonna have my knees off, uh, my feet off the ground, my knees uh, not tucked in all the way, but just pointing straight up to the roof and my feet above my knees. Plate in front of me, okay? My elbows are gonna be internally rotated and I'm gonna pull the plate against my forearms. Right, so I'm pulling it against my forearms. So my forearms are actually working here, right, to pull the plate. I'm trying to do that with my wrists, right? Then the elbows are internally rotated, so it's like I'm trying to do that, right? Not external rotation. So internal rotation, and then I'm gonna press the, the plate up to the roof as high as I can, as I then reach over, keep reaching away from your head as far as you can, and then pulling it back over, all right? It's a plate pull over, pretty simple, all right? Position, breathe in, reach up, reach over, pull it back over, breathe out as you do. Reach up, pull it over, keeping your shoulders internally rotated is gonna be a good thing for you to start with. Why? Because when it's internally rotated, you're gonna run into your shit <laughs> a bit quicker, uh, so it's gonna stop you from going too far, okay? Uh, really important when you're loading is to not go too far. Don't go outside of your, your capacity, right? If you load it too quickly, too far, you're gonna hurt yourself, right? So just really listen to your shoulder. If when you're going overhead with the plate, so you've internally rotated and you're going overhead and you can only get to there, like get to there comfortably, make sure you can come back from that position, okay? Don't go to a place that you cannot come back from and build up your confidence slowly with that one. Um, a five kilo plate might be a little bit too, too much for a lot of you. So you could use anything really. You could use a stick, you can use a book, you can use whatever you want. It's mainly just thinking about the positioning, shoulder internal ro internally rotated, and getting the reach, so that's protraction, and maintaining that reach as you go up and over. That is the key, the magic, okay? When you do that, you are creating a different relationship with your tricep, your long head of your tricep, which comes down here, and your lat, which also comes up this way. So if you create a different relationship through here, you're gonna create a different relationship up here. And when you are loading with the plate, when you are loading this tissue through this movement, right? Instead of having gravity acting down upon your shoulder, so you're actually picking your shoulder, well, most people pick their shoulder up and then go up, you're actually pulling your shoulder down and then going up, which is a much better way to clear some space at the top of that shoulder and should prevent you from having pinchy shoulders. Yay, there you go, guys. That's it. It's the secret sauce right there. So, give it a shot. Comment below.